Welcome to this video. In the last video, we learned how to solve a pair of linear equations by using the cross multiplication method. Today, we will look at some interesting examples based on this. In a given fraction, if we add 1 to the numerator and subtract 1 from the denominator, then it becomes 1 by 2. And if we add 2 to the denominator, the same fraction, then it becomes 1 by 3. Find the fraction. To solve the given question, pause the video and form a pair of linear equations in two variables. I hope you have also written the linear equations shown on the screen. Hope you remember that to solve a pair of linear equations by the cross multiplication method, we follow a four step process. Can you tell me what is to be done in the first step? Correct. First, we will write the given pair of equations in their general form. By doing so, we get the values of all the coefficients and constants. In step 2, we test the condition if a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is equal to 0 or not. Now, we substitute all the values obtained from step 1 in the cross multiplication method. And multiplying the numbers according to the arrows made, we subtract the second product from the first. After which, we get x by 5 is equal to y by 13, which is equal to 1 by 1. Now, in step 4, we will find the values of x and y, for which we will use the result from step 3, and we get x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 13. Substituting these values of x and y in equation 1 and solving it, it can be verified that x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 13 is the unique solution of the given pair of linear equations. For which value of k will the given pair of linear equations have infinite solutions and for which value will it have no solution? First, Let's write the given pair of linear equations in its general form. Identify the value of all the coefficients and constants. Here, in the first part of the question, we have to find out the value of k for which the pair of linear equations will have infinite solutions. You know that a pair of linear equations has infinite solutions if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, which is equal to c1 by c2. Replacing all the values of coefficients and variables and solving them gives us the value of k is equal to 16. Therefore, the pair of equations 3x plus y is equal to 16 and 9x plus 3y is equal to 48 will have infinite solutions. Now, in the next part of the question, we need to find out for which value of k will the given pair of linear equations have no solution. Again, with the help of the table, that the given pair of linear equations will have no solutions if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, which is not equal to c1 by c2. Replacing all the values of the coefficients and constants and on solving this, we get k is not equal to 16. Hence, except for k is equal to 16, there is no other solution for the given pair of linear equations. In this video, we learned some examples based on the cross multiplication method of solving a pair of linear equations. In the next video, 
we will look at some of the commonly made mistakes while solving such questions.